Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and today we'll be discussing about what cluster headache is. So, have you been diagnosed with this condition or may think you suffer from cluster headaches? Well, today we'll go into greater detail so that you have a clear understanding of what cluster headache is, what the cause is, and also potential treatment options to help manage and treat cluster headaches once and for all. So, what is cluster headaches? Cluster headaches are a rare type of headache condition that actually affects around 0.1% of the population. According to the International Headache Society, although they are rare, it does affect male anywhere from three to six times more frequently than females. Despite being uncommon, cluster headaches are regarded as being the most severe and debilitating type of headache. Research has shown that cluster headaches are frequently described as having the highest pain levels out of all the approximate 300 different types of headache and migraine. Now, cluster headaches occur in cycles and will often wake sufferers during the middle of the night or at regular times throughout the day. Attacks last anywhere between 15 minutes to 180 minutes and can happen multiple times per day or once every couple of days. Now, people who suffer from cluster headaches generally experience periods of attacks or cluster periods that can last weeks or months. These periods are then followed by periods of remission lasting anywhere from weeks, months or even years before another cluster of attacks occur. Now, the pain is often severe, usually only on one side of the head and generally around the eye or around the temple region. Cluster headaches um, have adopted the nickname suicide headaches due to their severe and debilitating nature. So what are the signs and symptoms of cluster headaches and do you actually suffer from cluster headaches or not? So cluster headaches are often severe enough that a sufferer cannot keep still during an attack. They may pace the room back and forth, they have to have a hot shower or even resort to physical abuse of hitting themselves in their own head in order to try to attempt to reduce the pain. Now symptoms commonly associated with cluster headaches include severe pain around the eye that can radiate further around the face or the neck, restlessness, shortness of breath and or even a sweaty face, watery or teary eyes or a redness of the eyes is also very common as the pain is situated within the eye region. A swollen or droopy eyelid can often be exhibited. A runny or congested nose on one side of the nose will be affected. Pale or flushed skin. And remember, the pain is usually unilateral, which means it affects only one side. Now, there are different types of cluster headaches, uh, chronic cluster headaches. There are two types. One is called episodic cluster headache and the other is called chronic cluster headache. So let's go into greater detail of what episodic cluster headache is. Now episodic cluster headache most commonly occurs episodically. So this is when sufferers experience bouts of cluster periods that last for weeks or months followed by an extended period of remission that can last up to years with no attacks. They can commonly occur seasonally or at set times each year. Episodic cluster headaches can account to up to 80% of all cluster headaches. So this leads now into chronic cluster headache. What is it? So, 
When cluster headaches occur without a period of prolonged remission, they are termed chronic cluster headache. Sufferers often have cluster periods that will last over a year. While they may have days without attacks, the remission will not last longer than a month's time. Now, what are the risk factors of cluster headaches? Let's go through them. Men are five to six times more common than lead to experience cluster headaches. Sufferers are generally heavy smokers. They are generally high alcohol consumption users. Cluster headaches now commonly affect people at the ages between 20 to 50 years, but can occur at any age. And also people with family members who suffer may be at a higher risk. So, the golden question, what is the cause of cluster headache? Now historically, it was believed that cluster headache as well as migraines were caused by the dilatation of blood vessels in the head, which were causing pain. This was thought because medications such as triptans are effective at relieving the pain if taken early enough in an attack. Now, it was also believed that triptans prevent this vessel dilatation. However, recent research has shown that cluster headaches in migraine sufferers actually do not experience blood vessel dilatation any different to those who, people who don't suffer from this condition. So then, how does this medication work? Modern research has shown that cluster headache in migraineurs arise from increased sensitivity in the central nervous system, and more specifically, the sensitized brainstem, which is located in the upper cervical spine of the neck. Now, faults in the upper neck can lead to the sensitized brainstem, which can then refer severe pain and associated symptoms into the head and the face. Triptan medications um, has also more recently been shown to desensitize the brainstem as well as its original purpose of constricting blood vessels in the head. This would then explain why triptan medications work as well as identifying a sensitized brainstem and the cervical spine as the cause of, cl uh, of he cluster headaches. So then, now if we know what the cause is, which is the sensitized brainstem, which is in the neck, what can you do to help your cluster headaches? Now, while cluster headaches is very uncommon, they are still experienced universally throughout the world. The severity of symptoms causes sufferers to try a range of therapies in an attempt to resolve them with mixed results. Often they have tried medications, injection therapies, surgical therapies, um, and even such as nerve blocks or blood vessel cauterization. So, at our clinic, we aim to use the most modern research to find the underlying root cause of cluster headaches. So, my question to you is, if you are a cluster headache sufferer, have you seeked help through a headache consultant to thoroughly find the root cause of your condition? And if so, have you actually had your neck and your brainstem assessed into great detail? If you have had your neck assessed and have proven that the brainstem is the cause of your condition, then treatments can actually be commenced immediately to treat your cluster headache. Now, if, however, you are a cluster headache sufferer and you haven't had your neck and you haven't had your brainstem thoroughly assessed by a headache consultant, then I would urge you to seek professional advice from a headache consultant to find the underlying root cause. Now remember, cluster headache sufferers usually will have a sensitized brainstem which is causing their symptoms. And if that is the case, then remember, treatment can begin immediately and has been proven to be effective at combating 
cluster headache sufferers. So, my name is Bertram Dirk, and I hope you have found value in understanding what cluster headache is, and also now understanding that help is available. Now, if you have any further questions, then feel free to comment below or contact us through our channels here below for further information about cluster headaches. Thank you. My name is Bertram Dirk once again, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Yeah.